Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Arky Nomad and in today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to add this cool looking seating as you can see in this image uh, with uh, within this model. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this one of the wall here this side and we're going to click the edit type option and now we're going to edit its structure so here as you can see here there uh, we have to finish and uh, so one of this is uh, I just made it just by default one so we can see the preview here if you just click this option here so you can just uh, see and understand which one is your uh, uh, the preview in the preview the, of the wall so uh, before that I'll just cancel this and I'll just make a section of this wall so I'll just go to its uh, first floor and I will just select the section I'll just click here select go to its view and I'll just make it a little bit bigger and just put a little bit like this and let me just get rid of this one the details okay so now we can see here this is our wall I'll just set this to a fine and it should be hidden line will be okay and you can see both of the side the finishes uh, so now I'm going to select this wall I'll go to its edit type and now I'll just go to this option here in the preview and I'll select its uh, section now you can see and uh, zoom if you zoom it you can see its uh, preview of it of that wall of the, I mean the section which we made so if you select this finish it will show you and pop up uh, which one will I mean will be on the that side or the exterior or interior so this is my exterior so this one what we're going to do is we need to add the sweep over here so for that we need to make a new profile to add the to add the uh, seating on this uh, on this wall so uh, let me just close this dialog box so what I'm going to do is I will create a new family for the setting so I'll just click this file I'll go to new I'll create a new family and for the profile I'll select so it might be here mm, let me check yeah this one this one will work yeah, of course I'll just select this one okay so now I'm going to use to uh, I'll create a profile so for that I'll use this line method the shortcut key is li and I click this and I'll just hit to this rectangle option and before doing that I'll just make sure that I'm on on a, on a millimeter in its unit so yeah it's on millimeter so now I'll just create a rectangle just like this and I'll put the uh, width of it 10 millimeter it's okay and for the height I'll just select here Oops. okay for the height I will just put uh, 250 yeah 250 will be good okay so I'll just make it down just my move option okay so now what going what I'm going to do is I will just rotate this a little bit I mean uh, to slightly just give it tilt tilted look because the sitting is actually not that straight it's tilted so it, you will get this detailed horizontal line here as you can see in this image so for that I'll just hit the tab I will hover my mouse cursor to this profile I'll just hit the tab and it will select I'll select this whole profile I'll go to its rotate option I will place the rotate option on the one of its top corner I'll just select this one and then I'll just rotate a little bit here so now it's fine okay so I'll just do one thing I'll just make sure that this should be on uh, 10 millimeter gap not more than that so I'll just create one of the, uh, one of the more line here so I'll just create a 10 mm okay so now I'll just do the same thing I'll just select the whole profile and now I'll just put the uh, rotate option again I'll just put 
the point here I'll click here and I'll just put here then you can see here now it's done and you can now delete this one so before putting this on your profile make sure that you always saved your um, this profile okay so for that I'll just click on save option I'll just for this project I'll save as it's sliding profile okay so I'll just hit the options because I don't want to save it more and more again so I'll just hit one so setting profile and now I'll just save it on my desktop okay okay so now we created our swip and we saved this profile to our desktop so now what we're going to do is we're going to load this family to our project so I'll just click here that's loaded so for and the working platform I'll use the section option and I'll just click this wall and go to edit type I'll go to its structure and I'll go to its uh, as we are in a preview mode I mean in the section mode here and we are on the this one will be exterior because this is finished too and here I'll just select this option sweep and I'll add that profile which you just we just made it for the seating I'll just add it in the profile I just look for my seating profile here and for the material I will use horizontal seating yeah I just okay I'm okay with it so for the distance uh, because our profile is is just uh, going to be vertically upside so let me just uh, check the first one now you can see on the preview if you just hit OK, you can set on the preview. It's it's already created here. So we just need to create uh, more uh, duplicate of it, which goes uh, it's uh, upside vertically. So I'll just hit the sweep option again. So I'll just duplicate this sweep to ten times maybe. Okay, ten times will be good. So I'll just duplicate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and for the distance, I'll just make sure the first one will be on zero because it's uh, sitting on the zero. And the next one we'll uh, put on and from starts from here. That is 250. It's because the height of the ceiling is 250 mm. And for that, I'll just uh, put the next one and with, uh, just 250, 250, 500. So the next one, 750. Fourth one thousand next one twelve fifty fifteen hundred next one seventeen fifty the next one two thousand because we are just adding two fifty mm from its because uh, of its height of this profile so next one will be two two five zero mm and the last one will be 2500 mm. So we just click apply and you can uh, oops we just missed one one of it so I just uh, I just forgot to add the 250 because we just we missed here once so I'll just duplicate this one no problem I'll just add here 250. And yeah okay now it's that's okay. Okay I'll just hit okay. Fine problem now if we go to do the section as you can see here our seating is created if we go to 3d you can see here it's now created our seating it looks really nice here but I want to make uh, I want to look in uh, Enscape because I want to check this uh, how it look, gonna look like in rendering after rendering so I'll just uh, start my Enscape let's wait for a while okay so now you can see our models loaded in landscape I'll just zoom it I'll just press W to zoom this one and now you can see our seating is looking really nice with details you can see here it looks really nice and if you want you can change its material according to your own uh, own project I'll just use this one to just show you how actually it's gonna look like Oops. Okay, it's pretty very fast. I'll just put this up. 
So I'll just show you one of this live example here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll change its material to wood, wood and oak. So I'll just hit this wall again. I'll go here. I'll go to edit structure. I'll select the sweep, and I'll go to its uh, material, and I'll just click here the oak flooring. It will be good, I think so. So for that vertical, I think we need to select one by one, or maybe we need to. I think we cannot do it. We need to select one by one. So never mind. It's okay. That's why. I mean, you can select uh, from the beginning and you can just duplicate it by one by one just like that so I'll just let me do it quickly okay so now I just added its new material here and all of it and I just hit OK okay let's see how it's gonna look like in rendering option so as you can see here, it looks really nice and when it looks comes to rendering with uh, detail and our angle is good for the seating. So yeah, this much for this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and smash the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.